Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at the grade 11 vectors in two dimension. Vectors in two dimension, one of the best thing that you need to remember from grade 10 is the vector. A vector is a physical quantity with magnitude and direction. Every time you draw a vector or you calculate a vector, you must show direction. And one of the important thing is the resultant. It's very important to know that Re definition of the resultant. Resultant is a single vector having the same effect as two or more vectors together. Remember when we draw a vector we draw it from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. Go back to my previous video of grade 10. That's where you get that. Right now let's look at this example. Um, calculating the resultant and drawing the vector diagrams. Right, it says two forces A and B of magnitude of three north, three newtons north and four newtons east, respectively, acting on a body. Here's a body. You have a force here, which is this is force A and this is force B. These forces they acting in, in at right angle. If you look at these forces, they are acting at right angle, which means they're acting perpendicular to each other. So these are the forces are in two dimension. There's one dimension which is vertical and one dimension which is horizontal. Now the question is: is calculate the resultant force if the angle between them is ninety. The angle between them is ninety, of course. Now the first thing that is important here is to draw the vector diagram. Drawing a vector diagram here, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to draw the the three newtons north. Three newtons north. This is three newtons north. And I'm going to draw the four newtons um, east. Do you see my four newtons is bigger? Uh, it's four newtons east. So in this way, this method that I've used here, it's called tail to tail method. There's a tail to tail method. I started from their tails. Now in the tail to tail method, it's called para parallelogram as well. So I close it and make the parallelogram. So it simply means that this side and this side are parallel and then they're equal. This side and this side are parallel and then they're equal opposite sides. Now the 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 result in here you draw it from one vertex to another which means from this corner to this corner. Um, uh, in, in fact from this corner to this corner the result in the direction of the result in is going to start here to that corner right. So that's our result in and the direction of that result in it's between this resultant and the horizontal. Alternatively, you can draw this this way. You can draw it this way using a tail to head method. That's a three newtons north and four newtons east. Four newtons east. And then my resultant there. My resultant there is going to start this was my first vector right and this is my last vector so i'm going to draw it from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector my resultant so my resultant is there so this is my resultant force and this is my resultant force the diagonal line and the angle there it's between the horizontal and the resultant so it's the same as this one these are the same. Alternatively, we can draw it this way, but the one that I'm going to draw is the same way as this one, as this one, but it's just that I'm starting with a different one. So I'm going to start here with the four, four newtons, um, four newtons to the to the east, and then I'm going to draw the three newtons north. 3 newtons north yeah it's 3 newtons north and then my resultant from the tail of the first vector here's my first vector I'm going to start from the tail of the first vector to the head of my last vector there so um, here is it right so this is my resultant 
and the angle is there so there's a 90 there and there's a 90 there so clearly these 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 um these vectors two the vectors they're acting um horizontal they're acting perpendicular to one another so this method is called tail to head or head to tail method because um the way, why is it called head to tail or tail to head it starts from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector when you draw the result in tail to head right now let's go to calculation let's go to calculation so calculating the resultant here we're going to use theorem of Pythagoras so remember remember this is this is a no no this is a and this is B right and this is B and this is a right so the theorem of Pythagoras you say f res a equal to square of a plus the square of b so the square of b the square of a is a is 3 square and of b square so the answer here is going to be 5 5 newtons but now calculating the direction calculate the resultant you must calculate the direction as well which is this angle this angle here so what what trig ratio i'm going to use i have this side which is this side um i have this side which is this side um and i have this side so i have an adjacent and an opposite so having an adjacent and opposite that means you're going to use the 10 even here you have opposite and adjacent you have opposite and adjacent so you use 10 10 theta is equal to a second function um, which is the opposite is what the opposite is a over b so um 10 minus 1 what is a it's 3 over 4 3 over 4 so the answer here the second function when you punch that in the calculator when you punch that in the calculator it's going to be um it's going to be 36,87 degrees this is the angle this angle and this angle and this angle a second example here we have two forces d and e of magnitude of six newtons and eight newtons respectively acting on a body um, if you look at, um, at this um, we have magnitude d that acts on the left by eight newtons and magnitude e acting downwards by six newtons now the question it says calculate the resultant if the angle between them is 90. now before to draw the resultant let's draw the vector diagram the vector diagram you have um, you have the eight newtons to the left eight newtons to the left which is force what d and then you have um, you have the force e downwards the force e downwards which is six newtons a little bit smaller than that so this is e six newtons downwards so this method is a tail to tail again so you close it by broken lines you'd close it by broken lines and make the the parallelogram and then your result in here will start from the vertex to another vertex so your angle will be there which is the direction of the resultant right alternatively you can use the tail to head method um, just like the previous example you have your 8 newton force which is d and you have your 6 newton force your 6 newton force there which is 
that one. So the resultant will start from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. So your angle will be there. And you have 90 there and there's 90 there. So this is your what? Your resultant force. Your resultant force. Um, alternatively, you can start with the force D. So when you start with the force D there, which is the 6 newtons, which is the 6 newton force, right, and then we draw there, okay, I have to write it a little bit further there, okay, and then you draw the D, D is going to the left, that way, which is 6 newtons, this is D, and this is E. And then your result in starting from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. Do you see? It's the same. It's the same result and resulting is point, pointing in the same direction. And the angle, it's going to be here. Here it's 90. All right? Okay. Now, calculating the result in here, you are looking for the longest side. You are looking for the longest side. Um of the two adjacent side you're looking for this side and you have the two adjacent sides you're looking for the longer side so we're going to use the theorem of pythagoras the theorem of pythagoras you say f res is equal to d square plus e square what is my d what is my d is eight square uh, my e my e is six square and the answer here is going to be 10 newtons and at the angle here it's opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent which is six so the angle here which is the direction it's 10 minus one uh, which is it's six negative six remember the negative it's downwards it's negative the six is downwards it's negative and uh, the eight is negative it's 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 left so the answer here it's going to be thirty six comma eight seven therefore you conclude therefore the magnitude of resultant didn't conclude in the previous example the magnitude of resultant is is ten newtons at an at a direction of what thirty six thirty six comma eight seven degrees.